Well, I, I love the way we are all called to be a part of God's ministry in this world. I, I love our uh, mission statement that we are working to make uh, disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. I mean, what else does God want us to do? And, and that's, that's it in a single sentence. I, I have a lot of hope for the church. Uh, I, I think that a lot of people are drawn to United Methodism once they understand what it means to be United Methodist. When people see that United Methodists are finding a way to be inclusive, when United Methodists find a way that we're also trying to serve those who have the greatest need in our community, in the world. Yeah, I always ask the question, how many hospitals in the United States have Methodists in it? And it's, it's over 50. How many universities have Methodists or Wesley in it? And it's close to 100. And to sit there and say that that's part of what it means to be United Methodist is that we want to go out and help change the world and people feel empowered led by the Holy Spirit to go and do big things such as founding a hospital, smaller things, raising money uh, to help families affected by tornadoes in our area. So whether it's large or small, there's plenty of room and plenty of hope in the United Methodist Church. So uh, Iowa Park is a, a bedroom community to Wichita Falls. There's some farmers, there's some ranchers, there's some people that work at the factory, there's some people that work in Wichita Falls. So we, we kind of have a, a, a mix of people, but it's a, it's a small community. It's similar to the community I grew up in in Northwest Indiana. And the people are just really friendly. And uh, being as my size, I can walk around town, people know who I am before I've ever introduced myself. I don't, I don't even have to wear my Methodist t-shirt. Uh, but, but one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, get outside of the church walls and be where other people are. So uh, pre-pandemic, going to schools, reading to kids, being available to kids at lunch hour, just to be present. Uh, also wanted to find a way to connect with uh, adults. And I started going to McDonald's on Fridays and met a bunch of guys there and uh, just kind of worked my way into that group. And I lovingly refer to them as uh, McDonald's University. And I uh, told that to one of the guys and he just started laughing. He goes, McDonald's University? Heck no, we're the Liars Club. That's what we are. But just a great bunch of guys and now that we are opening up again and trying to connect up with them and reestablish and of course uh, some of them are older and other issues going on and some have passed on so it's it, it's kind of sad to, to see that but it's also hopeful to see that we still have those relationships and going out in the community and to be a part of that.